we're going to work into this upper part. This is the top part of the rotator cuff, which is also part of the shoulder, the traps, in this area here, right here. But we're going to do this on the ground. You can also do this if you if you imagine that this is uh, a door frame, and then my head's going through the door. I can use that as well. Um, I'll also show you another way you can do it when you're standing up um, on a wall that you can be able to just hinge over and press into it. That's another really effective way. Uh, there's another effective way with using the so mini. Um, that's really helpful. It's either with your hand or even on the ground. Check out those videos. But this can be a helpful way too. And so all I'm doing is I just have the two yoga blocks. It gives me room so my head doesn't hit the wall. And then I'm just positioning this further down, closer to the bone area here. And then I'm using my feet to then press up into it. And then now I can start to do some movements with my arm. I can rotate here. I can bring it across my body and I can gauge the pressure with my feet. All right, so this is one way. Peaks are going this way. The other way is I can be able to turn it sideways like this and get this peak to go into that area similar to like it would if I was on the wall standing up. Now I can press into it. I'm getting more surface area pressing into it this way. But that can feel really nice. But check out those other videos for the, the wall and using the so many.